Okay, everyone, it's 345. We're going to begin our final awards. Now, first and foremost, we promised you the best week of the year. Did we deliver? Best week of the year? Uh, first, we will uh, show a, a, a slideshow highlighting some of the special moments from the week. I don't know how many memes from the group chat made it in, uh, but please enjoy. the highlights of the week. Well, as you all know by now, uh, this year the Mises Institute has launched a new program called Mises Apprentices, designed for young content creators interested in Austrian economics. Um, throughout this week, um, you might have seen them going around with some very good looking microphones, uh, asking for your highlights, interviewing faculty members and the like. Um, the videos produced throughout the week have been viewed by a uh, Mises Institute panel, uh, which we have selected our favorite, not using economic calculation. <laughs> Um, the winner will receive a uh, cash prize of $100. This year's winner is Jessica Gill, yeah. and uh, here is her video. What 
I've really enjoyed about Mises U is actually getting to interact with my fellow students. You know, you don't get to really interact with a lot of people who enjoy Austrian economics elsewhere, like in high school or in other and in colleges more broadly. So getting the chance to really interact with other people who are interested in Austrian economics and even libertarian philosophy, it's great. It finally feels like you have an intellectual home. Mises University is one of my favorite weeks of the entire year. I get to hang out with a lot of other people my age who are just as passionate about economics and philosophy as I am. A lot of very smart people, and then of course we also get to meet the fellows, the economists, the, the real geniuses behind all of this. Amazing people to speak to. You learn so much from them, listening to their lectures, having conversations with them. I absolutely love it. Hi, I'm Marina, and my favorite part about Mrs. Yu is getting to know other people from different backgrounds and getting to discuss Austro-Libertarian ideas, and these are, these are very good things that we need in the world right now. Hey, I'm Patrick Carroll here at the Mises Institute, uh, having a great time on uh, the first day of Mises U. We just had a great lecture by Patrick Newman on banking, uh, which was really fascinating, just learning about how banking systems work and how they go wrong. And I'm personally really looking forward to a lot of the microeconomics lectures, so entrepreneurship and lectures around the medical system and competition and monopoly. So it's going to be a great week. And a great week it was. Now, one of the things that came up throughout lectures this week was the value of uh, survey data. And you guys participated in a, a student feedback survey. All those comments were appreciated and will help us continue to make the best week of the year even better. We do have, however, a winner of a silver coin selected at random from the student survey raffle. And that winner is Ramiro Vargas. You come up to collect your prize. A winner of a Mises Silver Round. There you go. So one of the other firsts this year is our Mises University scavenger hunt. Um, which I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, we've also had our Connor look through and uh, uh, decide which of your photos he liked the best. The winner of that contest, winning a Rockwell silver round, is Luke Hill. Okay, with all that out of the way, it is my great honor to present uh, Dr. Joseph Slarno, Academic Vice President of the Mises Institute and Director of Mises University. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. It's all about you guys. Um, don't keep Mises U a secret, uh, and what you've learned here a secret. Mises once said that anywhere people meet, Public opinion is forming. Now, I know this is the age of, of, of social media, but that tends to distort things. In your day-to-day -day interactions with other individuals, you have to bring the message to them. Whether you're in your dormitory room, at a restaurant, in a health club, um, no matter what the topic is, don't lecture, don't be rude, but be humble and tell them the truth. Tell them about what you learned here. And that's, uh, that will multiply our message. And so with that, I want, I want to um, uh, talk about people who will be multiplying our message. Um, I want to recognize our summer research fellows, Anthony Cesario from Texas Tech University, sponsored by Mr. Mark Gober. Would you please stand as I call your name? The fellow. Yeah. Manuel Garcia Gojan, or as we like to call him here, the microphone Nazi. <laughs> you couldn't wait to stand until I read your affiliation. <laughs> From George Mason University, sponsored by the Conant Family Foundation. Ben Sievers from West Virginia University, sponsored by Mr. Ken Garcina. Wow. 
Connor Mortel from Texas Tech University, sponsored by Dr. Don Prince. Um, Maria Noelia Romero from University of Illinois Urbana-Champaign, sponsored by Mr. Greg and Mrs. Jane Gandhi. Gandhi. Yeah. Rafael Andre Andes, uh, Addis, excuse me, from University of, of, of Oxford, sponsored by Mr. Yusuf Alamoed. Artur, not Arthur, Seolin from Universidad Re Juan Carlos, sponsored by Mr. Steve and Mrs. Cassandra Tor Torriello or Torello. <laughs> Joshua Mawater from Mises Graduate School, sponsored by Mr. Frank and Mrs. Sharon Woodall. Kisong Wang from Hokkaido University, sponsored by Mr. Frank and Mrs. Sharon Woodall. And this year's Gary G. Schlorbaum Award to a promising young scholar goes to Dr. Tate Fegley. There is, there is actually something here. There you go, Tate. Okay. You can sit down now, Tate. Um, the Mundlicher Prüfung, that's a real word in German, believe it or not, is an optional exam for students who would like to have uh, their knowledge tested at the end of the conference. Preliminary written testing takes place on Thursday. Um, to, to determine who is qualified to take the final exam today. Um, 67 students took the preliminary exam. 15 of those scored 20 or more correct answers out of 25 questions to qualify for oral examinations today by a faculty jury. And we weren't very easy on them. Um, six students passed an oral exam and seven passed with honors. Certificates for passing the oral exam are at the registration table, which could be picked up later. Um, the people who passed are Guri Baradkin, James Garanyan, Garanyon, uh, Teoman Gokkek, Manuel Garcia Gojan, Samuel Peterson, Ryan Turnipseed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Ryan. <laughs> Caleb Waters and Zachary Wood. And those who passed with honors are Patrick Carroll, Adam Morris, Joseph Rich. Luan Valerio, and Jonathan Yen. And the, for the top three prize winners, um, in third place, and winning the Kenneth Garcina Prize of $750 is Adam Morris. <laughs> Please come up. We'll take pictures after. In second place, um, awarded the Kenneth Garcina Prize of $1,500 is Joseph Rich. Okay, we can go eat now. Oh. Um, and it's really my great pleasure to announce uh, the first place prize, the Douglas E. French Prize of $2,500 goes to James Garagnon. Now, after I give my, uh, my speech for an hour, we'll go eat. No, no. Um, just enjoy what we have prepared for you. Thank you. Oh.